Hey yo, welcome back to the show. We got another classic for you. This is um from when Chili just got done doxing Blue Bacon and started following up with some threats. So now we get to hear Blue Bacon's side of it, which is good. I don't know why he never actually followed up with these stories at the time. But it's cool because we get to see Blue Bacon's side of it. Um, Yeah, these are all really interesting. I wish I would have followed up with him before. Andre uh, Chukanov, Daunt tonight. I'll I'll save it. Well, yeah, okay, sorry. I'll read the transcript. Uh, We're going to keep it Yeah, I don't, look, I'm not trying to get anyone, because people are going to get mad about it um, if they hear him do it. The laughter was creepy, I think intentionally so. Um, Nerb said he wants Blue Bacon to kiss him. I'll shave and everything, unless you like it rough. I'm not going to use tongue unless you do it first. This is a joke. Do not. Yeah, you got it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It exists, though. See, I was like, "Mm, maybe, maybe not. All right, we're not going to do it. I'm sorry. I'm being told by people who know better than I do. But I will read the transcript. Because, I mean, this can be requested now. So it's not like I'm going to be able to hide it. All right, transcribe. Creepy laughter. Are we okay with me swearing? I'm going to swear. Cover your children's ears. Oh, I got you, motherfucker. I got you. This may not be how he, I'm trying to do it like he did it, but it might not be exact. Maybe I'm doing a different artistic light. So. All right, just in case anybody's confused, he's reading the words of Jose Maria de Castro. The messages or whatever that have been sent to him from Jose Maria de Castro. And buddy, let me tell you something. Three people contacted me, not one, not just one. And the guy who I gave your address to today, I told him where you were. He's the one. <laughs> oh, Michael. It was basically that. I also have a spelling mistake in here. And that's on me. The truth. Honestly, uh, you're in big trouble, brother. You are in big trouble. And then it ends. I'm not going to play his voice. I, I want to play his voice. What if he claims this? I don't know. Right? So continuing to make the threat or to allude to the threat. Um, I don't really think you understand the depths of which I'm willing to go. And you're goddamn lucky. I'm using the legal system. I'm in Colombia now. I don't have to use the legal system. That's not how that works, but okay. I think the guy I gave your address to, he's not using the legal system. You have created some people who want to hurt you. You're lucky I'm not one of them. Yeah, that, it's funny he says that because he says, I'm coming at you, dog. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. I wish I could do it in the street, but I won't break the law and slam your head into the concrete. I just won't do it. And going back to him um, saying he'll fight me, he says, you are a band geek, which is, yeah, but I was military police first, and um, I am trained to kill people. So not you. I would Not you. I'm saying, like, yeah, I like music. I like playing music. Every, all mo- oh, not okay, not most. Some of the music. This, this music right here, because I can tell you this now. I wrote that. Thank you. Uh, says you are a band geek. You will never meet me where someone couldn't stop me from doing what I do. What is it you do? That's weird. You would need somebody around, and I didn't respond to any of this, by the way. I just let him go, and he just kept going. You would need somebody around, and everyone, everybody knows. You would never, ever, ever agreed to meet me. That's not a typo uh, on my part that he wrote that. Uh, where nobody is going to be but me and you. Or I can show up at your house if you want me to. I'll sign a waiver. Um, on the next page, I have a picture of him sending me a picture of my own house. He also tried to do a video call, which I did not answer. Wanted to. In the interest of getting more information to prepare, but also, like, I'm worried. I'm scared right now. So I don't, I don't want to see his face. So he goes, uh, then I can pick you up off the, okay, sorry. Or I can show up at your house if you want me to. I'll sign a waiver. Then I can pick you up off the ground after whoops. And you can get some medication and get your feet off the ground. Sounds like he wants to, he's asking me to allow him to assault me. Of course, you have to agree. I'm not going to come to the house, and I can come there, and then we can go in the backyard. You can have your orthodontist on standby. Hmm. Oh, he also earlier said, do your sisters know that you're obsessed with me? They're going to find out. So he's threatening to contact my family. And I I would assume 
say things like this. That's my thought. So he goes, I sent you a, oh, oh, this is a, Mike, willing to sell this like men, are you? If not, court, which almost feels like extortion. I'm not sure if it's quite there, saying, let me beat you up, or I'm going to take you to court in order to, hold on, I saved this, and I've lost it. It might be here. Hold on. Take me to court uh, in order to work out a financial settlement. More than willing to leave this private and negotiate it without being public. So he wants money from me because he wants to bankrupt me. And it sounds like he's saying, I will bankrupt you through a financial settlement or you let me beat you up in your backyard. Which sounds like extortion. I'm not sure it 100%, 100% is extortion. But it sounds very close. And it's also weird that a man who had to stop a fight because of blood pressure and a bad knee thinks he could take me in my backyard. Which, let me tell you, it needs a bit of mowing. It's not, it's not the place I'd want to fight. Uh, he goes, look out your window. Anybody there? Which continues the implication that the threat against me is imminent. Now, a threat, threats are not always criminal. Uh, you can threaten someone and have it protected by the First Amendment. So if I say, I want to hurt you, well, that's, that's not an imminent threat because I haven't established a time that I'm going to do it. If I say... I will hurt you if, well, that's a conditional threat because it's, it, the, the threat is conditioned, dependent on, we'll go with that, it's dependent on whatever that condition is. Uh, but say, I will hurt you in three days. Now you have a time. There are certain things you need, which is like to basically establish that it is a, a threat. And that is one of them. And so he's saying, look out your windows, anybody there, establishes that the threat is now. So that's an imminent threat, which means it's not protected by the First Amendment, unless I am mistaken. Uh, he says, I'm coming at you, and you are showing that you are a beta. Where are you, bro? Picture of my house. Uh, do you want to sell this in court, or are you willing to bypass court and meet me in the woods? Just me and you, and I will pick you up off the ground, and we will exit the woods together. And you have learned a little bit of respect. If you don't agree to that, that's okay. Not everybody solves things the same way, and so we will do it through the courts. Sounds dangerously close to extortion. There's, I mean, then there's these community posts, which people saw, which is like, you know, I sent somebody to your house. He, re he repeats that multiple times in various videos, uh, and he sent it directly to me, so I don't even have to have to be like, it was through a third party, and that should count. It was directly to me, repeatedly. Now, you can argue you could have just blocked him. I could have, but if he's, his first message was, I'm sending someone to you. I kind of want a heads up on what else he's doing. So I'll let him talk. That's the only, I would have blocked him, but now I want a heads up. If he's giving me a heads up, I want it. I want to be able to prepare. So now is he serious? I don't know. Do I care? No, because I believed him. Unfortunately for him, I believed him enough to file a police report, enough to get a protection order, which will be served. If it's not, I'll still show up at the hearing, and I'll talk to the judge about what my options are. So, Greg B says, acting, uh, Blue Bacon acting scared because he can't lie anonymously on the internet and pretending he's scared for his family. What a joke. Yeah, so uh, not being anonymous on the internet doesn't mean that anyone can uh, send threats to you uh, with impunity. Shocking how that works, Greg. I wouldn't want this to happen to you. Chili had legal recourse. There were options he had to deal with this, uh, or they could have tempted. There goes my coin. But instead of that, he decided to potentially commit a crime and certainly do enough that a judge asked me zero questions. I'll, I'll say that. I probably shouldn't before approving this. In the interest of honesty, that might, I mean, that might hurt my case. Like, are you judging asking any questions? Like, no. Yeah, but yeah, that's all I'm going to give you for right now on, on what he's done. And uh, copy that, Rennie. And please, again, do not reach out to Chili and communicate with him in any way. That is not a joke. That is not hyperbole. I'm not being facetious. I am, I'm dead serious. Do, please. Just, just, mm-mm. I don't mind if you passively watch and document. I do not want you commenting. 
especially if it's going to anger him more and cause him to lash out again uh, against me, potentially. Because right now I think I'm his biggest threat. Uh, and I think he's my biggest threat. But I think he's my biggest threat like against my safety, and I'm his biggest threat legally because of his own actions. Whether or not he sees it that way. But, yeah. I think he picked the wrong person. I really do. What do you think, chat? It's an early Christmas present for all of you. All right. I might start wrapping this up. Do we have any other questions I might be able to answer? And I'll, I'll answer more questions over time. Like, don't worry. Oh, there's no way Jose Maria de Castro would threaten or extort anybody, Judge. Your Honor. <laughs> I love it. I love it because that's where Chili's mind goes. It always goes to court. I'll sue you. I'll do this. I'll do that. Or else. And he uses the court like a weapon. And he thinks the court and the judges are going to be like, cool, yeah, use us. Use us as a weapon for your online YouTube drama. Um, no, they're not going to be happy with that. They're, and actually, it's pretty much a crime the way you're doing it. Because um, you have no valid use to get the courts involved in any of this. I mean, Blue Bacon does at this point. Because you're threatening the guy. You're fucking making physical threats. You're trying to extort him. It's nuts. And it's funny, and I can't wait till they actually serve you with some documentation, dude, because, I mean, you already got warrants, Jose. You already got warrants out there. You're, you're screwed, dude. You know. Uh, Mickey the Bull, thank you so much. Says, Do you give a damn about DeCastro or his goons? Uh, that depends on what that question means. As in, like, am I afraid of them actually showing up? Yes. Yes, I, I believe that to be a very real possibility, and I have engaged in courses of action to um, address that possibility, to mitigate uh, the danger that I might be in. Uh, D. Hatfield, did I already say that? Sorry. D. Hatfield, thank you for subscribing. Barry G., thank you so much. Sir, you made Chili cry Love on, or live on air tonight for $10. Thank you. Well, I didn't make him cry. I think he made himself cry from his actions. Jenna, thank you so much. Says you're an amazing actor, but it's not just it's just it's not jiving with me. I'm so confused. I missed the 40, first 40 minutes of this stream. Jenna, I am Michael. The person I said I wasn't is me. Uh, we had because of my initials, which are MP, which is kind of hilarious. Joe Sarge certainly thought so. It I I ran with that and said it was all an elaborate troll, just like uh, we've seen done in the past. And that bought me time to make sure my family knew exactly what the potential threat was. The following day, I called them. As I'm calling them, um, I start getting threatening messages from Chile. As I start relaying these to the police, I get more threatening messages. Police were very interested. National Guard got involved. Uh, submitted a serious incident report. And then I, on Monday, filed a protection order. I didn't want to break this news without that protection order in hand. Here it is. So it's thick. Two C's. Three copies of it. I will have more. And then I will inquire in the within the PI company that I do work for to work to have him served or to get his location to ensure service against him. I feel pretty confident about this. All right. We'll wrap that one up there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much where blue bacon left off talking about his current situation with um jose de castro um yeah so jose left him a bunch of crazy messages because that's what jose de castro does he leaves a bunch of crazy messages he'll send you gay porn he'll, he's a weird guy especially when, he, when he's really high on whatever kind of drugs he takes he starts to get in these really weird fits where he'll start trying to call you and send you weird shit and you know, it's just because he's a closet gay you know it's like he would do that stuff that um dr dave was doing when we were on panel together but um jose would do it um very aggressively over the telephone and even send you things he'll be like hey hey here look at this hey 
<laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's just another classic one before I delete it from my video collection they have stored away. Alrighty, peace.